We're back now with Great Day Food. And to kick off season 18, we have a fan favorite here with us today. Uh -oh. Yes, Chef Very sweet. Adam Young is the owner of Sift Bay Shop, uh, here to help us bring the fall flavors to life. And we're actually, I know you brought some beautiful baked goods, which we're excited I for, did. but we're yep. making dinner instead. But can we first just talk about all of these expansions, right? You're not just we have the Sift Bakery, but now you have Mix, which is a restaurant? Sure, we have Mix, which is also lo it's located on the, the back rooftop of Sift in but downtown. But it's enclosed. Basic. It's enclosed. It's year round. How wonderful. We've got a great new culinary team up there. Outstanding chef who runs the restaurant portion for me. Just, just wonderful. But I understand wonderful it's a peak roof. So how do people sit? It is. It's kind of like a. <laughs> well, oh. <laughs> So we actually built it like a pavilion style <laughs> restaurant so I can open up the walls in the summertime. Oh, cool. and it, I wanted to maintain that kind of outdoor feel to yeah, it. Yeah, that's great. And in the winter, we actually, you know, are able to close those walls and heat it. So Terrific. Um, yeah, so we, we changed the menu there quarterly, reflective of the seasons, obviously. Yeah. And Olivia does an outstanding job um, of kind of sourcing locally and, and, you know, implementing a lot of technique like a pastry chef would into desserts. She's very creative, very thoughtful, and puts a lot of uh, kind of unique techniques into the savory dishes at the restaurant. Like so. these. These are tortellonis. Tortellonis. Which yeah. are Lonies. big tortellinis. Essentially. And what, yep. during commercial breaks, we watched you. You made the pasta from scratch. You, you rolled them. Yep. I mean, this is nothing is store-bought. Everything, you know, and like <laughs> they buy into the same kind of philosophies that we have in the bakery and the restaurant, which is everything has to be made from scratch. Okay. You know, with nothing store-bought, nothing fabricated, prefab. It's all butchering fish. Everything is done locally and in-house. So, okay. so I'm going to start you off here, Carrie. Okay. We have our pasta dough, right? And it's a pretty simple shape to make, frankly. You know, we make our fresh pasta. We have kind of our oval-shaped ring cutter. If you just want to stamp a few out the, ooh, the long way here. The long way, yep. okay. And then we have uh, a little ricotta mixture that we've added some basil, some sage, some tarragon, roasted garlic. Is just there to kind anything of enhance more the relaxing than cutting out pastry dough? I think it's, like, fascinating. <laughs> What it is, is kind of, it is very therapeutic. What okay, is that? So this is the filling for the tortelloni. What's in there? The filling. So a little ricotta cheese, right? Okay. Narragansett ricotta cheese in Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. um, roasted garlic, a lot of fresh herbs. Sometimes we'll add a little pumpkin puree to that as well. Mm. But it's relatively simple shape to kind of fabricate here. Okay, and what um, do you do after you've done that? So you just put a little dot, a little dab a little dot, in the middle. Not, not too much. You don't want to overfill it, right? Fold but what's half. important, you fold it in half and you want to make sure you go from the in, like from the cheese out because oh. you want to eliminate any air pockets oh, that you are. want to make a little pocket for the cheese okay and press that nice and firm and then what we like to do in the restaurant is we'll take and we'll kind of seal the deal we'll go over it again oh look at that with How a ring cutter Mm -hmm. Do you, you use the, the pasta that you don't use? Uh, no. Not usually. Okay. You try to, you know, because you, you develop a lot of gluten, it becomes very tough, okay. uh, especially with the fresh pasta. So we try to make as little waste the first time as Got possible, it. right? Got it. So we're going to make a little indent here. Okay. With your, I mean, I have these mitts, but, you know, kind of a smaller. And then you take each one, and it's very simple. You just fold. Fold um, the corners yeah, sure. like that. Very okay. simple. Very simple. You Good see? luck, Karen. The, <laughs> that's exactly it. It's perfect. I it's did perfect, it. right? I did it. I right? did it. So, <laughs> just kind of fan these out. And that's, you know, we'll do these right before service and we'll let them dry out a little bit so, you know, they hold their shape and then okay. we'll okay. poach them to order. So, and, okay. that's, and that's what I have here. So, we have some of the finished pasta uh, that we prepped earlier this morning. And we're going to put this into a little what we call Vermonté. 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 So uh, it's an emulsion of just warm water and butter. So you can see how it has like a nice viscosity to it. Yeah. Kind of like an emulsified vinaigrette. Yeah. That's the idea. It adds a little, it kind of seasons the pasta, it enriches it a little bit, it, you know, gives it like a little gloss, gives it a little extra flavor. It's just one more step kind of Look, thoughtfulness here. The second one, I think I did it even wow, better. Even better. Cara, that's even better. Yeah. I now Progress. know how to make a tortelloni. <laughs> I'm so excited. So we're just going to glaze these here with this mm. Vermont. It, just smell, it smells richness. absolutely incredible. Thank you. Um, so what we do, anytime we're doing pasta dishes, you know, if we're do, especially if we're doing a filled pasta, they're always very, very rich, right? Yeah. So we try to garnish accordingly. So we use some... You know, a lot of pickled vegetables, a lot of fresh lettuce, a lot of microgreens, a lot of different textures and flavors that balance out that kind of super oh, richness of the okay. pasta, you oh, know. Okay. So instead of, you know, this for example, we wouldn't put like a cream sauce on it, you no. know, because it already well, has the, the fattiness and the richness. And the, okay. Right. We're, we're talking a lot about balance on this show. Very yeah. important. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Life balance, food balance. So 
They almost look like little wontons. No, right? They, That's exactly what I was <laughs> thinking. Yeah, they do. They do resemble wontons. Um, it's so delicate. It's such an art. You just like everything's going to look so beautiful. And this again is at Mix. This is at Mix upstairs. Yeah, Young Mystic. Buns Donuts and ATY Hospitality. Yeah, ATY Confections Hospitality is kind of like the main group. And so right next to the restaurant, we have Martini Bar that does our oh, uh, houses it. our chocolatiers too. So we do bar ATY Bar and Bonbons. You uh, get to, like fancy martinis and fancy martinis chocolate and little... that looks like a Picasso did it. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, you know, it's all it's great teams, great teamwork, great, you know, excellent, excellent staff and management. All right, we have so, about a minute and a half. Perfect. So we have, you know, like I said, we're going to balance these tastes and flavors. So I have some braised, um, kind of charred and braised endive. Okay. Like bitterness, you know, bitterness, a little sourness, herbaceousness. I have some roasted sugar pumpkin. Oh. That we yeah, just kind of glazed in a little, a little butter and you know herbs and whatnot. Just so you know, this is not your make it easy Monday night meal. Well, just go out and have fun because <laughs> Adam created it for you. We'll and roasted to, sugar pumpkin you know, and major tortelloni. That's, that's what we're here to do. You know, it's like if anybody can make it, why would you come to the restaurant? You know? So, I know. <laughs> a little uh, press ricotta. So you know, again, we we. Uh, infuse this ricotta cheese with sage and roasted garlic and some, you know, all kinds of different herbs, Sir, salt and fresh roasted pepper, that's or fresh cracked pepper, excuse me. Um, adds a little uh, kind of... Uh, Red pickled onions? Yeah, pickled pearl onions, a little sour sour taste and flavor here, just going to offset that, right. the cheese, right? All right, in our final 30 seconds, yeah. do you need a reservation to come to mix? Yeah, you know, they're, they're recommended. We do okay. get pretty busy, thankfully. Um, but you can certainly come in as a walk-in as well. Right. So husk cherries, aren't these cute right, little tomatillos? Yeah. Kind of tomatillo family. We're just right, going to eat, gonna eat this. Um, I'm going to let you take the bite first because I just want to let everyone know this is incredible. I already know that. But I also want you to join us mm. for Eyewitness News at 4 for all your big stories and weather in a moment. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs>